Hey everyone, excited to be back for this week's edition of Frequently Asked Questions for Commercial Real Estate. In today's video, what I wanna do is talk about something that I've actually been actively working on for a client right now, and that is a lease renewal for my ex uh, an existing tenant. And so if you are someone who currently has a lease agreement with the landlord, and your lease, your up, your 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 end date of, of the lease is coming up. This will be the video for you, so you can understand how to properly negotiate a lease renewal. And if for some reason you can't come to terms with your landlord, how you can go about the process of seeking out a new space for your business. So before we dive in this video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you can like and subscribe to this channel. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and ensures more and more people can hear this message and learn about the many facets of commercial real estate. So now you've done that, go ahead and like and subscribe below. Let's go ahead and dive into this episode. All right, so the topic of discussion is negotiating a lease renewal. Uh, now, this is something that that often happens in the marketplace where you sign, let's say, a three-year lease and your lease is coming due soon and you don't necessarily have an option on the back end of your lease. And what an option is, is it gives you the right to renew your lease at some predetermined rate that you agree upon at the beginning of your lease term. So if for some reason you don't have an option or maybe you've already exercised your option and, it's, and your lease is coming due, this is the video that's going to explain the step-by-step -step process to be able to negotiate an effective, effectively negotiate, I should say, uh, a, a lease deal that's going to be favorable for you in your business long term. So the first step in the process is to make sure you start early. I can't tell you how many times I get calls from from tenants that are like, "Hey, uh, you know, my lease is coming up in a month, and I got to figure out what I'm going to do as far as either negotiating lease renewal or start looking for new spaces." When you don't have enough time to either negotiate and or uh, find a new space, you put yourself in a very poor negotiating position because if there's any back and forth, your landlord has the upper hand because they know, well, the lease is going to be up. And if they're not going to be, if they're not going to essentially play by my rules, I can just kick them out at the end of the, of that period. And that's going to affect your business tremendously. And so what I usually recommend is to start the process at least six to 12 months early to give you some lead time so that you can, you can negotiate effectively with the landlord. And if for some reason they're being very difficult to work with, and you're not you're not able to come to terms. You have the ability to now go out and find a new space that can actually fit your business, hopefully better than your previous space did. So that's number one is to start early. Number two is to involve a commercial real estate agent. Now I often get you know questions about this because I myself am a commercial real estate agent, and so people think, oh well, you're just wanting to have people use your services, and that's not the case. In reality, commercial real estate agents do this every day. You're always in the marketplace. We're executing lease deals. We know what market rates are for different parts of town, and we can effectively guide you through the process of negotiating your lease. Along with that, commercial real estate agents typically have their fees paid for by the, the landlord. Uh, and that's typically based on a listing agreement that the landlord has with their existing uh, agent. And they split, they usually, typically, the two brokers involved in the transaction would split the commission. So it doesn't really, it shouldn't typically cost you anything to involve a commercial real estate agent in this discussion as well. So these are two reasons why it's very effective and very uh, beneficial to involve a commercial real estate agent in the negotiation process because you can effectively negotiate a term that's that's the best for you based on all the information you have at your disposal. So that's number two. Number three is to create a plan of attack. So when typically when you involve a commercial real estate agent in the transaction, you would all you would sit down and you would do a market analysis of the area and say, okay, well, you know, let's say that you're at a center that has a 10% vacancy rate or maybe a 20% vacancy rate, and all the other properties around you now have options as well. So let's say that you know if they lose if the if the landlord were to you lose you, they would have another 10% 10% on top of their 20% vacancy. That puts you in a very strong negotiating position because your footprint within the building is going to greatly affect the returns that the landlord receives if you were to vacate the premises. Along with that, if there's many options available in the area that are maybe lower than what, what the cost of your space is and they're in a more desirable location, that too also improves your negotiating position because now you can reference those within the negotiation process to ensure that you're able to get a more favorable lease rate or maybe whatever terms you're seeking within the lease discussion, that's what you can bring up uh, during your discussion. So that's number three is to negotiate or to figure out a plan of attack so you can propose a solution to the landlord that will hopefully benefit you in the long run. And finally, number four is if for some reason you're not able to come to terms and there's going to be situations sometimes where landlords are just unwilling to compromise on anything. And, you know, you may have already had issues with the landlord in the past because of their unwillingness to help or compromise or whatever else. If it's not a good landlord tenant relationship, you got to be willing to relocate. 
Um, and this is obviously not always beneficial or, or optimal, but in a situation where the landlord is putting you in a bad position as a business owner, you have to be able to evaluate your options. And that's why I think starting early in the process is so important because if you're, you know, you start the process, let's say 10 to tw uh, 12 months early, and it takes you two or three months to try and negotiate with the landlord and they're just being unwavering in their, their decision to help you or to, to work with you, then you have six to eight months to find a space, which is, should be plenty of time to be able to do so. And then you could negotiate with a new landlord, potentially get some lease concessions in the form of free rent or tenant improvement or whatever else. And then you can relocate your business to the new location and then hopefully start off and build up a clientele that that, that is going to be beneficial for your business long term. So those are the steps you need to take if you're looking to renew your lease. Uh, you really, time is everything when it comes to this. So starting early is probably the most important uh, piece of this puzzle. If you yourself are, uh, have an upcoming lease renewal, let's say, you know, six to 12 months in the future, and you're looking to renegotiate your lease in some capacity, feel free to reach out to me, especially if you're in the Louisville metro area. I'd be happy to help you renegotiate a favorable lease for you. Uh, you can reach me via email at rafaelcrisantigroup.com, or you can give me a call at 502-536-7315. Along with that, if you like this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you could like and subscribe to this channel. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and ensures more and more people can hear this message and learn about the many facets of commercial real estate. So thanks again so much for tuning in, and we'll see you all next time.